The legislation, still in draft form, calls for exempting vehicles used as primary residences from paying parking fees and exempted from towing or impound. In fact, in its draft form, the legislation could allow for RV encampments throughout the city. There was one clause in the draft form that also protected RVs that are primary residences from being towed or sighted, even if used for sexual exploitation. An O'Brien staffer said today that clause has been dropped from the legislation. But for business owners in Soto, the idea the city is now talking about new ways to allow vehicular living on streets is a head scratcher. Bill Kazmarek, who runs Seattle Textile, says the city's lone sanctioned RV encampment next to his building has been a failure. Not one person, not one person has been helped by this situation to do something for their, you know, to get them a job or get them a house to live in. This is just a dumping ground. Scott Lindsay, who once ran the mayor's homeless response and is now running for city attorney, agrees. This ordinance is a major step in the wrong direction. It would basically exempt vehicles with people living in them from almost all of the health and safety laws of the city of Seattle governing vehicles on our streets. Lindsay says he believes increasing efforts around navigation centers and navigation teams is the best way to move forward on the homelessness issue. Again, O'Brien's staff says this is a draft ordinance which could change, but it is expected to be discussed at a Wednesday committee hearing inside Seattle City Council chambers before it is formally introduced later this month. That is the story for now live in Seattle. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.